Hello everyone. Today we're going to explore how you can open and run HTML files using Visual Studio Code or VS Code. To start, you'll need to open up VS Code and navigate to where your HTML project is stored. In my case, that's under the Projects folder on my C drive. Just select the folder and you'll be all set. Within that folder, you might have multiple HTML files, so go ahead and select the one you want to work on. Don't worry if some messages pop up. You can just close them. First, let's talk about a handy extension you can use called Open in Browser. To get this, go to the Extensions tab on the upper left corner of VS Code and search for Open in Browser. After you install it, you can set your default browser like Chrome or Firefox in the extension settings, which can be accessed via the cogwheel icon. Here I'll just set Firefox as default browser. Once you've installed the extension and set your default browser, all you need to do is right-click on the HTML file you're working on and choose Open in Default Browser. Your HTML file will then open in the browser you've set as the default, which is super convenient. However, there's another approach to consider, especially if you're doing more dynamic, real-world development. There's another extension called Live Server that allows you to run your HTML files on a local host. It even refreshes the page automatically when you make changes to the file. To get started with this, head back to the Extensions tab and look for Live Server, then click on Install. After installing Live Server, you'll need to go into its settings. Within these settings, you'll find a JSON file where you can specify your default browser. Type in Live Server Settings, Advanced Custom Browser CMD Line, and then specify your browser such as Chrome. Make sure to save this configuration. Finally, to run your HTML file with Live Server, there's usually a Go Live button at the bottom of the VS Code window. Clicking on that will start the server at port 5500, and your HTML file will automatically open in your chosen default browser, running on a local host. And there you have it. You now know two different ways to run HTML files in a browser through VS Code. Both methods have their advantages, but using the Live Server extension can give you a more real-world development experience. What I mean by that is that this is how professional web developers run their projects on their computer before committing changes to GitHub project or uploading the HTML development files to run on a domain name.